A modest farm in Rheinbach, on the outskirts of Bonn, may be said to revolutionize the paper industry. This is because Uwe Donjonet, together with scientists from the University of Bonn, is looking into ways to use grass in paper production. Such a development was something close to the founder's heart, after he saw a report on the television about the enormous amount of wood used in the paper industry. The report presented figures revealing how an area of primeval forest the size of Switzerland is felled for the Indonesian paper industry alone. These figures were so shocking to me, I realized I needed to make a change here. The advantages are clearly apparent. While wood tends to be transported over long distances as a raw material, grass grows everywhere, making it particularly environmentally friendly. Grass can really replace trees. What we actually need for paper production is the fibers from the material. With trees, this involves a complex method of extraction. In other words, we need to use a lot of chemicals while consuming vast amounts of water and a great deal of energy to subsequently obtain cellulose from trees. Luckily, things are somewhat different with grass. In other words, we can simply process the fibers mechanically as they're almost pure. Yet it took cooperation from the Department of Renewable Raw Materials at the University of Bonn to achieve a breakthrough in the search for the ideal composition of grass in paper production. We receive hay, which we then crush in a special process so as to obtain just the right length of fiber we need later in the paper. This is then added to the pelletization process at the top. The material then falls in from above, where it is ground a little by these rollers on the die, so we can then achieve a better degree of grinding for the fibers, prior to the pelletization downstream. These pellets are then taken to the paper mill and look like this. They should not be too solid, nor too soft either, and are then analyzed further in the next step. Uwe Danjone is on a customer visit at the Scheufelen paper mill in Leningen near Stuttgart. Although Ulrich Scheufelen is now the honorary chairman of a traditional company, he's still open to new ideas like grass paper. We're only in the early stages with grass paper. We have been doing it for six months. We're making it with the same machines we also use for manufacturing paper from wood. We need to refine the process a little here. This is entirely new territory for us. I like to compare us with a small child who's learning to walk. We fall down a few times, but then we have to stand up again. But we've made tremendous progress. We're already established in the packaging market, and I think grass paper and grass carton has a promising future. Sophisticated packaging is the result of 160 years of company history at Scheufelen. That should now be reflected in grass paper too, an area where the paper mill is yet again a pioneer. And all this with green packaging products that look attractive. The head of Crea Paper thinks so too. The product is especially interesting for the packaging industry. We have a selection here where we can see the product is very suitable for use in important areas of the food industry. We're currently producing fresh fiber products for fruit and vegetable trays for direct contact with food. And in contrast to recycled paper, it's also much healthier. In his company, Crea Paper, in the Rhineland town of Genef, we can see the many areas of application for packaging that is already made from up to 60% of grass fibers. But Uwe Danjona knows very well that he's facing a challenge when it comes to the increased use of grass in paper production, especially as a raw materials supplier. To be able to be effective as quickly as possible, we of course need to be able to sell the product as quickly as possible worldwide. And that's really only if we are a raw material supplier. We can't be a paper supplier. Instead, we need to try and convince the paper industry to gradually switch to grass as a raw material to a certain extent. And then, I think, in the next two, three years, we'll be able to utilize grass as a raw material globally. That means it's important to make things as easy as possible for paper manufacturers. For example, by setting up facilities on their doorstep, which makes the local grass available in the desired quality, which has a positive effect in the ecological balance.
We found that we save 75% of CO2 emissions in comparison to fresh fiber. This is due to the difference in preparation method. We no longer have to use any chemicals. We only need 2 liters of water instead of 6,000 liters of water per ton of raw material. And we only use a tenth of the energy. In contrast, Uwe Danjone invests all his energy in his startup, which has long since become more than just an entrepreneurial challenge. For me personally, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I really have the feeling I can make big changes with this product. And that's not my mission in life.